is Bobby Bonilla Day. Now, Chris, would you like to explain it, or do you want me to kind of go through it here? So in 2000, <laughs> Bobby Bonilla played for the Mets, okay? And I believe they owed him $5.9 million. Oh, yes. That they did not have. The owners of the Mets couldn't scratch up just a hair under six mil. So they agreed to postpone all payments of him until 2011. From 2011 till 2035. 2035. Yep. 2035. They will pay him $1.19 million a year every July 1st. So he had to wait a decade to get his money. But in the end, instead of getting 5.9, if he diverted it, then they would pay him over $29 million. Million. Yeah. million. The best contract that has ever been drawn up in the history of sports agents. I believe Bobby is the one who proposed it as well. Yeah, he, I think his, so I went back, well, I haven't watched it recently, but I've, I've watched it basically every July 1st for the past yeah. however many years, and his agent is the one that brought up the idea to Bobby. To and divert then, the money. And then Bobby said, so I wouldn't get paid for 10 years. And they said, Exactly. But, but you guaranteed the money. But you would make like five to six times as much money. Well, no, you're going to make a lot more than that. Well, I guess maybe not. Yeah, if you're owed $6 million, you get up getting 30 Yeah, it's five times. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Ben said, is this a holiday? He said, happy Bobby Bonilla Day. Matt yes, said, it, I, I it's think. It's definitely a holiday. So, today, first thing I checked this morning, Twitter, wake up, have it, yep. open it up, see what's going on. And... A guy that I halfway really enjoy following and halfway just find super annoying following did the did the thing that really pisses me off. If Bobby Bonilla would have taken the five point nine million dollars and invested it all in Amazon, he would be worth over a billion dollars today. Yeah, that's if what you decided in two thousand that you were going to invest it in a company that nobody at that time had ever heard of. Hang on. No, people had heard of Amazon. Amazon was around in 2000. Yes. You know what? They were just now starting to sell that's college textbooks. That's what I'm saying. That <laughs> is it. Any financial advisor tells you to take all $6 million and invest it in a startup that is only selling college textbooks and used books would be shot in the head and thrown out in the street. <laughs> yeah, I would, I would like, do that. Yeah. Who in the hell... Would I mean Facebook wasn't invented then? It wasn't a thing then. Like that would be like trying to invest. Well, if you would have invested it in something that was magical that didn't exist, if you could predict the future, yes, I would be far more than a billionaire if I could predict the future. Dan Ravel. Yes, Ben said there's a lot of people who could have done that and been billionaires. Hundred percent. Yes. Matt but said, I'll uh, tell you this. I'll ahead. take. I'm not. A, I'm not an investment guy. I don't know anything about investing. I put a little money away. A financial advisor. I hope he don't steal from me. If he does, I know where he lives. So, um, <laughs> you know, I'm Italian, and I'm not afraid to use resources. Uh, but, but no, it, I don't know that world. And so, yeah, if someone told me I'm going to give you six million dollars now, or I could give you thirty million over twenty five years, but you got to wait ten to get it, I'd say. All right. All right. And if I die between now and then of ever getting that money, as long as my family gets it, because you know I live day to day, then that's yep. fine. Yeah, believe that. As long as you don't get to keep it, I'm okay. There you go. No, I I'm think, good at I math. Good. I'm really good at math. <laughs> ben said, did Chris just say he's a mafia man? Uh, no, no, he said no, he's no, Italian. No, no, no. Those words never came out of my mouth. Uh, he's Italian. There's a difference. There is a massive difference. Matt said, I think Bernie Madoff was involved too because of the Mets investing with him, obviously. Yeah. Well, that's why and, they were broke. Yeah. <laughs> Adrian Holmes said, hi, so when will the preseason start? Actually, we're about to dive into that. Oh. Uh, before we get into that, though, Ben said, what's up, guys? Did some research on the Akron Wadley situation. I don't think he's a total liar, but there are holes in his story. But we do know there is a problem in Iowa City that needs to be solved. Sorry to get you off track here. I, I'm glad that you jumped back in because uh, Ben did send me some links with that. And, uh, and yeah, like I, I get where people would be a little iffy on Wadley coming out with these allegations, especially two weeks after the other ones. Um, but, 
you know, we don't know if the way he was treated is what made or what made him act that way, et cetera. So I, I always tend to just kind of let the facts come out, and then we'll figure it out as we go, right? So uh, Damien jumps in. He said, what's up, guys? He said uh, he would have been better off investing it in McDonald's for a free lifetime of Big Macs than invest in Amazon. At that point in time, yeah, yeah no, nobody thought Amazon was going to be what they are. Darren Ravel yeah. is a, a buffoon. Fool. He is sometimes entertaining, <laughs> but fools often are, right? Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I enjoy the little nuggets that he tosses out every now and then. But I, do sometimes, too. I do too. That's why I don't yeah. I don't want to hate on him, but I really don't like it when people do that. If you would have done if I could have seen the future, then I, I assure you I would not be sitting right here. No, you're right. Both of us would be millionaires and we would have a much nicer studio setup than we currently do. So I bet we'd still be I doing might the not show. Be alive right now if I could have seen it. If I'd have made that kind of money back then. <laughs> There's no telling what I would have done. Oh, who knows? Not who knows? Alive. Let's uh, let's dive off of this. Let's jump. 